First, make sure your computer's off. Then, remove the battery. Then, you're going to remove three small silver screws that were under the battery. And two small black screws that were under the battery. After you have done that, remove the RAM cover. Under the RAM cover, you will see a keyboard icon next to a screw. Remove that screw. Then flip over your computer and then you're going to remove the front panel. You can use your fingernails to pry it open or a flathead screwdriver. Be careful not to damage the flex cables beneath it. Now that you have the shield loose, you can now remove the cable. There is another flex cable connecting the keyboard, so don't pull too far up on the keyboard just yet. Carefully work the cable out of its slot by pulling it back. You can now pull your old keyboard out and dispose of it. Grab your new keyboard. Carefully insert the new cable into the slot. Be careful not to damage it. The cables are fragile. The connector slot has two levers on each side. They are black. Once the cable is inserted into the slot, pull the little black levers back in. This will secure the cable. At this point, it is safe to test your new keyboard, connect it to the charger, and turn it on. You may open Notepad or Word and start typing in letters. Make sure every letter works. Then just turn off your laptop and disconnect it from the charger. Make sure you place the keyboard in right. Then put the front panel back in. Just slide your fingers all across it until you hear clicking noises, snapping noises, or cracking noises. This will let you know that it is put on right. Then just flip it over and put in all the screws back in. Now put the ramp cover back on. And the battery back in. 
your new keyboard should be working. Thanks for watching.